Hi there, in this video we're just going to give a quick review of some of the more common concentration units that we're going to use in a chem lab. So let's give an example of maybe taking 14.72 grams of sodium chloride. Why 14.72 grams? Because I made that number up. And the idea is we're going to make some solutions out of it. So let's take the first one and let's dissolve it in enough water to make a total of 250 milliliters, maybe in a volumetric flask. So using the molar mass of sodium chloride, we can get the number of moles of sodium chloride. So the number of moles of sodium chloride is 14.72 grams. And we know that one mole of sodium chloride is 58.4 grams of sodium chloride. So we have a total of 0 0.25205 moles of sodium chloride. Now notice, I didn't need five significant figures in my answer, but I'm keeping more than I need just because I don't want to make sure, I don't want to have any round off error. And to get the concentration of the sodium chloride solution in moles per liter, I'll divide those number of moles, 0 0.25205 moles divided by 0 0.250 liters and I'll get for myself 1.008 molar. The reason I'm keeping four sig figs is because I'm pretty sure that my 250 milliliter volumetric flask has way more sig figs, should be a couple of more decimal places probably, so we're good with four sig figs from the mass of the sodium chloride. So molarity is one of the more common ones. A little less common is molality. Molality is used a lot by uh, physicists actually because it's really easy to do. So molality instead of being moles of solute divided by the volume of the solution it's divided by the mass of the solvent. And the reason why this one's so convenient for physicists is because what you do is you take your analytical balance, and you put your beaker on top of it, here's your, your beaker, and you put in your, your solid, so you weigh out your solid, and that solid, let's keep that 14.72 grams of solute, just because that was a nice easy one, then I'm going to keep adding solvent, so I'll, I'll add some solvent to this, and maybe when I'm done adding solvent, the total, um, the total mass will be now 114.72 grams. Well, if that's the case, I know that I still have my 0 0.25205 moles of sodium chloride. But the mass of the solvent, that's easy. I'd subtract the mass total with solute and solvent from the mass of the solute alone, and I get 100 grams, or... 0 0.1 kilograms, which gets me a molality of 2.521 molal. We use a little script M for molality. So chemists don't usually use this one because it's not easy to transfer. You don't transfer it by, by volume. But physicists and in other areas of chemistry, this is used quite a bit. And I'd say that the last one that we should mention is percent weight by weight. This is sometimes also referred to as percent by mass. So this is just the mass of the solute divided by the mass of the solution, or the mixture. So let's go back to our example where we had 14.72 grams of sodium chloride, and maybe we had 100.0 grams of water. If that's the case, then our percent weight for weight would be 14.72 divided by, again, now the total mass, which is 114.72. Now notice, since they're both in grams, the units go away. A lot of times it's very convenient to take this times 100 so we can report it as a percentage. And if we do that, we get... 0 0.1283 or 12.83 percent. So these are a couple of, or a few, 
common concentration units. You'll use them throughout your chemistry uh, lab experience, and I hope you found this very useful.